I wouldn't say it's, it's a hard fight. It's just it's quite an annoying fight. You probably won't see that replicated here. Here you go. <laughs> That's what happens. YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I really do hope you are well. My God, my head is so shiny today. Today, I've got a really cool video for you guys checking out a little quest in PSO, which has helped me gain a lot of levels over my few characters I have. That particular... Uh, particular is that the word you're looking for? That particular quest is towards the future. It's essentially a four-part boss rush, and uh, it's it's quite common in episode one. So yeah, I've actually got a full run through. We have a higher level character that actually joins us and pretty much allows us to slaughter everything in front of us. But it should give you an insight as to what to expect. If you do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys shortly. So this is like a perfect example of the ideal TTF run you want. We just so happen to join. I joined this level 35, then a level 179 join. So this is literally perfect. So this is typically what will happen in majority of TTF runs. You'll kill that initial Hilda Bear that will spawn there. The gate will open. Quite often people will just rush this. They won't even really bother clearing any of these mobs out. But in this case, it looks like they're and all these i'm severely severely under leveled and under geared for this i don't actually think i have enough health to survive dark falls but we'll see we've got a rare drop so if you can get someone that's of this sort of level then they can quite literally just carry you through the whole thing this is like the experience it's not even worth you shooting as you can see like the experience is just so easy by the time i've actually shot a bullet this person's pretty much murdered everything. One good thing I love about the Affinia server is there are a lot of high leveled characters that are just trying to sort of kill some time and they will actually jump into some of the lower level missions and the lower level lobbies and help people out. Quite often I, you know, I find that people that are twice, three times the level that my character is will actually jump in and help, which was really nice. Is it even worth me shooting? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. So, as you can clearly see, if you can get someone with you at this sort of level, then it's it's just a breeze. It really is. I'm not even bothering shooting because throughout this stage, you can't really do a lot anyway. We can start doing some damage now. Not that we're going to need to. He doesn't even get a chance to take off. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Depending on what level you are, what gear you've got, you might want to stop off at this point, break some of these boxes, claim some gear. But to be honest... I'm uh, I'm really not too fussed about any of this. If I'm being real, I'm happy to just hit the teleporter. If you are new to TTF, there's a few like weird things that you have to do throughout the mission. Uh, one of them, you cause a spawn point when you walk through this door here. So one of you typically will sort of spiral off, come through here, walk back out again. So in this case, we are not needed whatsoever because uh, we are getting carried through this quite swiftly. It's cool to see just from the conversations that these guys are having in the lobby that there's still new players joining the game. I think that will kind of be the ultimate goal for what I want to do with these videos is I don't expect them to go like super ham. I don't really care about the views too much, but if we can just get like one or two, maybe even a handful more people to join the game, I think that'd be really cool. So depending on which, which people you party with, these nano dragons aren't actually a necessity to kill whatsoever. You can just walk straight through here once you've killed the lilies. So after this area has been cleared out, one person will need to stay behind in that room because there is a shark that will spawn in which you need to kill to be able to unlock the door in front of you. So I'm pretty sure you have to walk over here virtually towards the door. The shark will then spawn. Someone kills the shark, the door opens. If you are new to TTF, you've never played it, uh, then you are going to be stuck for a little while. Because this guy right here can cause a lot of issues. So yeah, once he's dead, you can then move on. This particular boss fight, depending on who is in your party, can be over almost before he even reaches the barge himself. Um, this fight kind of sucks for hunters. Unless you've got a pistol, unless you've got something you can deal sort of range damage with. But melee weapons, uh, you'll find in probably most areas, don't really excel in this game. If you stick to this really sort of far right hand corner, you can kind of dodge a lot of those attacks there. Um, as you can see, 
this level 179 is pretty much decimated this you've got to be careful here because he will jump on the barge and uh, yeah as you can see he's, he's just getting slaughtered now uh, but that fight can be over quite literally before he even reaches the barge um yeah if you've got you know a full team of like forces for example are great so as we start to carry on progressing through TTF, you're probably getting the idea as to what it is and what the general consensus is. It is pretty much a boss rush. It's a handful of enemies, a few waves, and then for the most part, you are straight onto a boss. Uh, the bosses by far in this game grant the biggest amount of XP, so therefore it is the sort of go-to mission that people tend to rinse and repeat when they want to level up. Um, I tend to try and alternate as and where I can because it can get a little bit repetitive like anything doing the same sort of runs fighting the same enemies over and over again uh, PSO by its very nature doesn't have an abundance of enemy types or bosses so being able to shuffle the small amounts that you do have is is quite important in my eyes gotta be careful coming into this room here because there's a trap if you're low level, that can do quite a bit of damage to you, so just be careful of that. Now, for the most part, throughout TTF, there are only a select few enemies that you actually need to kill in each room to unlock a door. So, for example, the door is now unlocked in front of us. Uh, the set, the party that I'm with at the moment, tend to want to wipe everything out, which is cool. That goes two ways. You will get more XP the more you kill, but depending on how long it takes you to do it, against how long it takes you to clear all the bosses, can sometimes mean that you have a bit of a, a negative effect a kind of like you don't really gain too much uh, this particular room here is the Sinnoh room this is an awful room by all accounts uh, essentially you run through here this will spawn the mobs they then drop from the ceiling there's about four or five of them each when they spawn they pretty much bundle on top of you and uh, let's get a better view here and you'll see what happens yeah so we could die here to be honest it's quite common to die in this room uh, it doesn't matter what level or power you are there's about three or four waves i believe um q casts are pretty good in this area because of their frost traps you can kind of place one in the middle um time it right and as soon as they drop you'll freeze them straight away which is always really really helpful uh, it also does help to have a pocket level 179 carrying you through absolutely everything but you know that aside uh there's two big boys three big boys that spawn here uh the missiles are pretty lethal um so you want to kind of avoid them they do a shit ton of damage if you can some of them have terrible tracking like these two is gonna hit no okay we avoided it that's nice uh top round to the left here is one of these control modules for some of the dub chicks the ones that ultimately can't die and they should destroy that if you carry on shooting them without shooting that, you will not kill them. They will just keep on spawning and spawning and spawning. Uh, this boss fight... This particular boss fight in episode one is definitely, in my opinion, one of the... Just either one of the most pointless or one of the most frustrating. You, you'll never have it, like, one way all the time. Um, if you fail to do enough damage then you'll go through the realms of being paralyzed constantly um in this case obviously everything's being slaughtered the move set can be like quite odd sometimes the screens can be delayed with the image popping popping behind it so you can't actually shoot anything or damage anything uh, this particular phase really isn't too bad you just if the lasers are upon you you just kind of run around dodge them or tank them it's totally up to you For the most part, you know, in this case, we are, we're just going to slow it. So the laser's here, I'm just going to carry on running, and eventually that would have just hit the ground, but yeah. You can see there, not really too much to it. So, out of the time that we've spent together in this TTF run, I have two levels already, one of which I was close to anyway. Um, but we, I don't think we'll level again, I think we'll be really, really close though. As you can see here, we are still massively underleveled, massively undergeared for this area. It's quite odd running this with a higher level and then not rushing it. It's weird to be killing all the enemies, but it's also quite nice to see from time to time. Look at the damage difference between me and this higher level. That's hilarious. 
That's so funny. So when doing TTF, you gotta be mindful. When you get to Dark Falls, anything from hard onwards, you'll see three phases of Dark Falls. Now I think, I mean, in this particular instance, we're on hard and I'm pretty sure the, the HP cut off to be able to survive. So the minimum HP you need to survive one of Dark Falls attacks, I believe is 250. Um, we do not, we do not have that, so we are probably going to die in this fight. Um, you categorically need a ranged weapon for this, especially for the third phase. Uh, it's incredibly annoying. He moves around a lot, doesn't stay in one place, becomes invulnerable quite often, and you have such a small, like really small window to hit. So um, you really have to kind of maximise that damage as much as you can. Uh, in this case, though, he is being absolutely murdered, so we should be fine. So in this phase, he'll kind of like wander around the arena, casting ice and fire attacks. Not really much you can do, like apart from like moving vastly out of the way to avoid them. You can see it just got quite a quite a wide radius. So just be mindful of that. So in normal, you won't see now this next phase. So from hard onwards you will see phase three of Dark Falls. I wouldn't say it's, it's a hard fight. It's just, it's quite an annoying fight. You probably won't see that replicated here. Here you go. And that, that's what happens. I I spoke far too soon, clearly. Uh, it's this attack coming that we will not survive. A, we won't survive those beams if they hit us. And B, the next attack coming now, we also will not survive. There you go. Nice. Okay, so that that's a bit of a false representation of how that boss normally goes. With an equal level party, it it can take a while. It really can. Um, that is a very very like skewed instance as to as to how that typically goes. But nonetheless, we got it done. It's quick. It's fast. It's easy XP. So yeah, as many high level players as you can get to join to carry you through, I'd highly recommend it. And we actually did get another level, so wicked. We're going to say thank you for that. So folks, that pretty much summarizes TTF towards the future. Arguably one of the best quests to level up throughout PSO. So hopefully it's given you a bit of an insight. Uh, obviously what we experienced was slightly skewed because we had a massively, massively overleveled character in our lobby which is always good to get because it's really quick and easy xp but even if you find a party full of people that are similar level to you you can normally even just to be honest even if you just rinse the dragon area you'd still get a decent amount of xp if you just kept finishing the dragon loading out loading back in uh, that normally works quite well but uh, yeah i hope this has helped giving you a bit of an insight as to kind of what to expect uh, if you did enjoy this type of content please do leave a like subscribe if you are new here and i'll see you guys on the next one